Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here, and today I have another unboxing to do. And if you kind of notice that I'm wearing the same clothes, you are exactly right. So like I said, I have an unboxing to do today. Uh, this was supposed to come tomorrow, which would have been Friday, but today's Thursday. It showed up early, so I'm kind of happy with that. Uh, yeah, I'm wearing the same clothes I wore yesterday. I took a late shower yesterday, so I think it's dirty. So let's get, uh, let's get stabbing. Now, I got chipped out of $7.90 on this. The seller paid for the shipping on this. Um, but it weighed at his area, it weighed at 12 pounds. Uh, it's actually 15.1 pounds, uh, so I had to pay a difference. Oh well. So here she is. Not such a big box like yesterday, but still a good size box. Put the stabbing device away. And let's see what we got here. We got lots of cardboard and packing material in here. And a gig bag. Hmm. I wasn't expecting a gig bag. This is a brand new gig bag, too. Oh, I hate when people do this. They stuff everything in here, including the kitchen sink. Alright, so here she is. And, uh,. No love letters or anything else. Yeah, it's a decent gig bag. I'm not really fond of gig bags, but it's decent. So let me get this box out of here and uh, clean up this paperwork so I can show you. All right, so day. like I mentioned in my last video that uh, I was looking at an Epiphone, and I ended up picking it up, uh, picking this up, actually. And again, you know, I've been kind of hunting down deals, and I got a pretty good deal on this one. Not too bad at all, just like I did with the Ibanez. And, uh, yeah, so, unbagging time. Not a bad, I don't know, not a bad gig bag, but, you know, I'm not really into the gig bagging. So, I'm going to open this up. Check all the pockets first. What's in this pocket? This pocket has two pockets in it, and... A pick card. Let's see here. I'm sure there's nothing else inside here. Uh -huh. A metal guitar pick. A metal guitar pick and this guitar pick music go around and a Dunlop pick all right so that was inside this oh there's more picks in here Shit. oh god I used to use these picks here when I used to play bass uh, or full around bass a long time ago well, I haven't seen one of these in a long time and here's a little fender pick Uh, let's see in the other pocket here, what's in here. All right, nothing's in that pocket. All right, so let's get into let's get into the big pocket of this. Open this up, see what I got. Oh, lichen, lichen, lichen. No cracks on each side of the headstock. Nope, everything looks good. Headstock looks fine. Grover tuners. Let's see what the rest of this thing looks like. So what this is, is an Epiphone 
VC Pro. I hate these damn things. Which I don't understand why there's a pick guard inside here because this does not come with a pick guard. So here she is. Still has the plastic on the back. Oh wow, this thing is like brand fucking new. This thing's like brand fucking new. Holy shit. Neck is really nice. Action heights a little bit on the high side, but action action the first frets on the high side a little bit, but not bad at the full fret. This has the um pro buckers in it where they are pushing pull pots. And nice green nice green burst with the flame maple. No chips at all on this thing. Now, if you, I got this thing for, what was it? Two something. Uh, I want to say this was two, 280 or 290. I can't remember. I was telling my buddies on Skype about it. And they're like, oh, that, that's a damn good deal. So there's the headstock. And I believe that is the new style of the headstock now. Before they had the tabs cut off over here. And, uh, yeah, so she is another beauty. Other than fingerprints being on it, and uh, that's it. She looks good. I think I'll wear this. I think I'll wear this nicely. So that is a, another unboxing for, damn, two in a week. Frets feel, frets feel real nice. Not bad at all. And this guitar does, is not as heavy as I thought it would be. I thought this would be like maybe as heavy as a Les Paul was or maybe even more heavier. I don't know, but it's not bad. So it still has the plastic on the back covers, which is always kind of a good thing. And other than smudges and fan prints on here, there's nothing, nothing on here. But yep, yeah, she's a beauty. And again, I'm probably going to change out this bridge. Uh, I don't like these these tunematics. These are sharp. These are real sharp. And I've got the bridges to do it, so put some rollers on here. This has got the Grover tuners on it, so I'm not really going to change those out. Those are actually decent tuners. And this thing still has the string. <laughs> still has the string on it from when the tag was on this thing. But this was not bought new. It was bought used. Um... Yeah, so this is Epiphone number two that I have. All right, so I'm out of here. You guys take it easy, and I'm going to put this down for a little bit and maybe play around with it a little bit later, too. Bye.